Hey guys, this is Taylor, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a curve selection in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, the reason why I'm making this tutorial is because you can't really make a curve selection using the basic pre-made selection tool, which is just a square. And we're dealing with, right in this case, we're dealing with a kind of wave uh, effect, and we want to kind of cut this out, or copy it. And, you know, you can't really do that with the basic area selection tool. And I'll show you how to work with that and make a more precise cut or drawing, I guess you could, or selection, I guess you could say. I'll also show you, show you how to get rid of some text, like the PBL, because we don't really want that. Um, so we can actually do that now. So if we grab the selection tool and just select the, the text, right-click on it and hit fill. Um, just hit the, make sure it's on use content aware, and hit OK. Uh, and it should, dis it should get rid of most of it. We can also right-click and hit deselect. Now it's going to give you a rough uh, final result image. You can uh, pat that down using the brush tool and making the color around the same color as it is where you cut it out of. And you can just pat it down, make the opacity a little about 40 or 50. You can just pat it down a little bit. All right. Now it's not going to look great, but you know you can work with it. All right, so now let's get into the actual drawing or this curve selection. So if we grab the pen tool and hit Z on the keyboard, we can we'll use fit screen just to zoom in a little bit and go back to the pen tool. Uh, we're going to work with the pen tool to make a drawing around the part that we want to make a selection around. So just do that now. Okay, so once you're done, you want to right-click inside the drawing and find Make Selection. Make the feather radius to zero. The only reason we set that to zero is to just, it doesn't, doesn't really work too well if you feather it. And once you make the selection, you will have your selected selection. You can just move this around. It works just like a regular selection. Um, you can also, a lot of people make new layers out of, you know, selections, and because this is one image, it'll be, you know, helpful to make layers. So what you can do is right-click on it, or actually make, make sure you're on the selection tool, right-click and find new layer, and you can make a new layer just out of that. I'm not going to do it because there's other things we can do before that. <laughs> so let's say we wanted to copy the image. If we go to edit, and then copy, and then hit control V, you can move the copied image around. You can also flip the image by going to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Kind of similar to the reflection the reflection effect in, in Photoshop. I'll smooth that over there. And that works just like a regular the gradient, this new layer. And you can, you know, add effects to this one. And also, if you made a new layer, you can add effects to that layer too as well. And it works really well. And once you learn how to make, you know, your own selected draw or own curved drawings, you can really make a, a draw or a, a selection out of anything. If you wanted to, you could select out all of these people if you really wanted to. But I'm not going to go into that. It's going to take too long. Um, so that wraps up the tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions, you can comment below. I'll be sure to answer them. Also, I'm sorry I didn't make this video on a Saturday. It's just, you know, I. I had a lot of t it's Thanksgiving break for me, and you know I've had a lot of time on my hands now, and you know I'll be making some more tutorials. Also, check out effects and tutorials. I'll be posting my other genre tutorials there. If you haven't seen my update video, you should go check that out for more information. But I'll also po post um, I also feature some of my tutorials from effects and tutorials onto my YouTube channel, so you can do that. You can watch them as well, and that'll save you some time. But also, you should check out effects and tutorials. They're really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any other questions, you can you know comment. And make sure you subscribe so you know when my next video is out. And I'll see you later. Bye.